anxious to raise our minds and hearts off of the dream and to fix thereon our respectful and loving attention. Since your journey with us on the path of eternal life could not be a stranger to the frail pilgrims who had charity as willing to shelter, turn your merciful gaze towards us, draw us into your brilliance, shower us with your kindness, lead us into life and into light, lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God, but let each minute take us further into the depths of your blessed mystery, until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine union, will see all things in eternal love and unity.
Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the fool? For send forth your light and your truth, let these be my guides. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the heart, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Because of his affliction, my servant shall see the light in the fullness of day. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send his truth and his love. My soul lies down among lions, who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps, my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul. Awake, lyre and heart. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the sky. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Open wide your arms. I will take you away from among the nations, 
gather you from all the foreign lands and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you. Taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers you shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Open wide your hearts. How blessed are those who love you. They will, they will rejoice in your peace. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king city. God in the midst of its citadels has shown himself its stronghold. Were the kings assembled together, Together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded. Dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen. In the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your need, reaches the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled, Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgment. Walk through Zion, walk all around it, count the number of its towers. Review all its ramparts, examine its castles, that you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always, it is he who leads us. Glory <laughs> to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. To God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. How blessed are those who love you. They will rejoice in your peace.
from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord and there is no other. There is no God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not, so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, men may know that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, there is no other. I form the light and create the darkness. I make well-being and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Let justice descend, O heaven, like dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the skies drop it down. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. Let justice also spring up. I, the Lord, have created this. of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. Give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sin. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Expectable Dominus, Salvator Father, who art in heaven. 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O oh God, who made the Bishop St. Ambrose a teacher of the Catholic faith and a model of apostolic courage, raise up men in your raise up in your church men after your own heart to govern her with courage and wisdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to you. May the divine assistance be always with us and also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, who reflect the Father's light, by revealing to us the mystery of the world, the eternal fruit of his bosom, the source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, and our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light, and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Archives, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit Paraclete, and Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother.